Okay, I moved some stuff outside. I have a battery that I'd like to try to charge up. And I've uh, got some leaves on it right now. Let's see what the uh, sitting voltage is at this thing. It's 11.81. Nice and steady. I'm going to attempt to hook up the Imhotep radiant charger, the relay charger. I'm going to power it with a solar uh, cell. So, let's see how that works. Okay, I've been following my schematic over here. I'm pretty sure that's probably whited out for you. Probably can't see that. But the solar cell is ready. Everything's uh, hooked up except these last two wires here. So, let's hook up the uh, positive from the solar panel here. If you notice, this doesn't make any noise unless it's got something to vibrate off of. Sitting on this hollow wooden door, you can really hear it uh, humming away, right? And uh, this green wire goes to the uh, negative on the charge battery. One of our city buses going by. I don't know if you can hear that. Changes frequency when I put it on load. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm trying to do this one handed. I want to see if there's any uh, improvement right off the bat. I think I'll have to come back in a second and uh, get my tripod so I can look at this measurement. Okay, I just balanced my uh, probes against the uh, terminal nuts. That's holding it securely enough. And uh, I am getting immediate charging. Although I may lose my son any second. <laughs> this is Rochester after all. But well, we started out with what, 81? I'm already up to 83. It's been like four minutes. Wow, if they can keep that kind of pace up, this is pretty impressive. Goodness gracious. I'm humming away. Well, I'll come back in a little while. We'll see what we're doing. This is Ron back. It's been about... Uh, Gosh, I don't know, about half an hour of actual sunlight. I had a lot of trouble getting uh, sunshine. I had to wait till quite later in the day. Oh, oh, there's my little partner. There's my helper. Gigi's always with me. so always close at hand. And uh, the mosquito, I like to call this the mosquito now, is uh, charging the elephant. And uh, I can actually stand here and watch it go up. Once I finally got some uh, uninterrupted sunshine, clouds kept coming over and shutting down the circuit. And uh, it's uh, charging faster than the solar cell does on its own. That's a 17 volt, uh, 200 milliamp solar cell. And uh, it's pretty wimpy. I've spent weeks uh, trying to Try to put a single volt into this battery, <laughs> and boy, uh, well, I do have a, a diary of how long it takes for that solar cell to charge this battery, and it's uh, pretty pitiful. Uh, I'm already getting better action uh, right here, and boy, real sunshine time, I don't think it's been an hour yet. Uh, I only think I've had about uh, possibly 40 minutes tops, and it's uh, it's continuing to stick energy in there. You can see it waffle between 8.5 and 8.6, and another 10 minutes, it'll probably be about 10, uh, 8.7. But I'm running out of sunshine. I'll have to time this, uh, see how long it takes to stick juice in this. Uh, I say this uh, circuit is a success. I think it'll be interesting to use uh, multiple... Uh, there you go, you can hear it good that way. 
I think it would be good to use multiples of these. Uh, one solar cell should be able to drive about four of these little guys because uh, this thing's only pulling 30 milliamps. Almost nothing. So again, uh, Imhotep, thank you. Great circuit. I can't believe it's so simple and so effective. It's uh, extremely impressive uh, that, <laughs> gosh, almost nothing in the way of uh, parts or cost. And it's uh, squeezing, squeezing voltage into the big battery. That's pretty impressive. I'll uh, do some time trials and see how, uh, how much energy I can produce that little booger. This is Ron, over and out.